The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Luna Nozawa Lisa Yamada will be living out her remaining years in either a prison or mental hospital, for obvious reasons. But, since when has a few murder charges stopped a baddie from returning on a daytime soap? Here's what's coming up next on BNB Spoilers Ahead. Luna Nozawa shocked her friends and family when she did a complete 180 and went from a sweet and innocent fashion in turn to a cold-blooded killer. Murder was just one of Luna's many. We can't forget she kidnapped Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes Wood, faked a paternity test, framed her own mom, and tried to seduce her fake dad Bill Spencer Don Diamant. The odds of Luna ever being allowed to see the light of day again are slim to none. But that doesn't mean we won't ever see her again on The Bold and The Beautiful. According to BNB Spoilers, someone will receive a shocking phone call from the prison and be surprised when Luna Nozawa reaches out to them from behind bars. Our money is on either Zen Forrester Delon de Metz or RJ Forrester Joshua Hoffman. The Forrester cousins are just naive enough to go visit Luna in her orange jumpsuit. At some point down the line, someone is going to go visit Luna in jail or talk to her on the phone. But, rumor has it that's not the only way we will see Luna Nozawa again. Word on the internet is the Forrester intern is currently working on a foolproof escape plan. Maybe she spent too much time at I.L. Giardino hanging with Sheila Carter Kimberlyn Brown. The bold and the beautiful spoilers show that something is going on with Taylor Hayes' Rebecca Budig. And we still don't exactly know what. However, we know that she confided in Lee Finnegan Naomi Matsuda, that she didn't want anyone else to know that she was struggling. There have been a ton of ideas going around, including Taylor faking an illness as a way to win Ridge Forrester Torsten K back over. However, what if everything happening is real and she is incredibly sick? Did she return to town to make amends before her last breath, and could this be it for Taylor Hayes? The worst-case scenario for Taylor is that she only has a few months to live and wants to make things right in her life before she passes. It could explain why she showed up in town when she did and also explained her illness to Lee. This all seems to be happening at the same time so it's not out of the realm of possibility. If Taylor is deathly ill, it would make sense for her to tell her daughter, Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes would, how proud she is of her and all that she has accomplished. While it may seem like a generally nice thing to say, it would mean something completely different if Taylor is dying. If Taylor is nearing the end of her life, it will have a profound effect on Steffi. We all saw how happy Steffi was to see her mother again, and how much of an impact she's had on her life, even through all the drama. If Taylor passes away, it could completely devastate Steffi and have her shut down completely. Everything that she'd been building and working on could crumble at a moment's notice, and it would create a perfect opportunity for Hope Logan Annika Noel to take hope for the future and turn it into something else while Steffi is preoccupied. Hope could even take the time to go after Steffi for everything she has done lately while her guard is down. Would it be a low blow sure? Effective? Absolutely. The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates reveal John Finn Finnegan's Tanner Novlin committed to Steffi Forrester Jacqueline McInnes Wood and has no feelings for Hope Logan Annika Noel. Yet, it's important to recognize that betrayal can manifest in various forms beyond infidelity. BNB appears to be setting the stage for Finn to uncover Taylor Hayes' Rebecca Budig heartbreaking secret. This revelation could place Finn in a difficult position. If Taylor insists he keep her serious diagnosis confidential, he'll struggle with the idea of withholding information from Steffi, but he's also a doctor who honors a patient's right to privacy. Although he may encourage Taylor to be honest with Steffi, he might still commit to keeping the secret himself. The burden of hiding such significant information from Steffi will be challenging, and it's possible that the deception could deepen. It seems likely that Steffi will end up being the last to learn the truth, with others in their circle discovering the secret before she does. Rich Forrester Torsten K is set to uncover the truth behind Taylor's secret. According to upcoming spoilers, this revelation could reach Brooke Logan Catherine Kelly Lang. She might inadvertently share it with Hope, and there's also a possibility that Hope could overhear some crucial information about Taylor's heart condition. In any scenario, Hope could end up holding a secret that has the potential to shatter Steffi's life, not to mention Thomas Forrester's Matthew Atkinson and the children. Thomas obviously doesn't know about it either, although Taylor came home to LA while leaving him and Douglas Forrester Henry Joseph Samory in the dark too. Could Hope and Finn find themselves in the secret circle before Steffi does? 
If that happens, it would undoubtedly feel like a significant betrayal when Steffi uncovers what Taylor has been hiding. Just picture Steffi's rage if she discovers that Finn and Hope have been keeping this under wraps without her knowledge. Our predictions suggest that Hope and Finn might get involved in a covert agreement with Taylor, so keep an eye out to see if that becomes the breaking point for Steffi. Upcoming spoilers indicate that Steffi will want someone to blame, which means she might unleash her frustration regarding Taylor's situation on the secretive duo of Finn and Hope.